Okay, we'll get started tonight um, with James Hand. Hey, what's going on, Harrison? How you doing, man? Good. Uh, this was the second game in a row that you guys got production from almost everybody who stepped on the court. How much is that sort of the the mantra of this team that everyone has to come in and do their job? We know that the way the West is stacked up this year, we know we're going to need contributions from everybody. And, you know, I want to definitely shout out Glenn on the way he played tonight after not getting much action in the first game. You know, he's a professional. He stepped up for us big tonight um, and gave, really gave us a lift. Matt George. Harrison, you knew that the Suns weren't going to go away, but after an 11-0 and start, what can the Kings do to better maintain leads for more of a full 48 minutes? Not get comfortable and understand this is a game of runs. We know that they were going to get into some, some of their actions, and you know, we just have to make that difficult for them. There was periods where we let them play a very comfortable game, let them get into their flow of offense, and I mean, they're, they're, they're talented players, they're a talented team, and they can score the ball. So that's what allowed them to kind of close that gap. Harrison, coming in uh, after a couple of days off and coming off of that win, knowing that you're going to get this team twice, how much of a concern was that coming into this game? And how relieved were you to kind of see the way you guys were able to perform? I don't know if relieved is the right word, but I think we were trying to just maintain the edge that we had in that second half of that Denver game that really allowed us to kind of get over the hump and get that win. We want to try to bring that into this game. And, you know, it feels good to, to get a win tonight, but at the same time, we have a game tomorrow against them. Uh, we know that they're going to be, you know, anticipating, you know, that, that matchup, you know, all night. So, you know, we have to prepare ourselves again tomorrow. Marshall Harris. Harris, and uh, obviously this team hasn't had experience with loss in a long time, talking about the Phoenix Suns with the way they played in the bubble and everything else. Just how difficult do you anticipate that being tomorrow, having to play the same team twice in two days and really how the schedule's laid out, that's going to be a common theme for all teams this season? It's going to be a, a matter of will. Um, both of us know each other, Scott and Port. Uh, we, we have the fresh memory of, of tonight's game. So coming out tomorrow, it's going to be which team imposes their will on the other, and we have to rise to that challenge. Uh, Jason Jones. Hey, Harrison. This uh Hold that team to 41% or about 42% shooting, 25% from three. Just what are you guys able to do defensively that's maybe clicking right now to hold that team in check like that? Just try to work them, make them work for their shots. Like I said, coming off how they played in the bubble and throughout the preseason, the first game this season, you know, they've been in a good rhythm offensively. So just really trying to make them work, uh, put pressure on their guards, and try to make them make plays. Jason Anderson. Hey, Harrison, good win for you guys. Um, uh, you uh, didn't shoot the three tonight as a team particularly well like the other night, um, but things are going pretty well. So what do, you, what do you like on the offensive end and and how much more dangerous uh, would it make you guys if, you know, if and when you start to knock down those threes? Yeah, I mean, we have, we have good shooters on our team and we believe in the shots that, you know, guys are taking. But at the end of the day, you know, we have to find other ways to score. You look at the way, you know, Rashawn was a beast on the boards tonight, Marvin getting to the free throw line, obviously the way Fox was attacking. I have to figure out other ways to score. So I think having that well-balanced game where even in games where we don't shoot the three well, we can still get to the free throw line. We can still get layups um, and put pressure. Uh, James Ham. Hey, Harrison. Uh, second game in a row that you've really hit the glass hard. You guys dominated them. It looks like 56 to 40 on the glass. Uh, you also had a lot more free throws in them, 20 more free throws. Those are indications that you guys are more physical. Uh, and that's something that we're not kind of used to seeing from this team. Um, just was that something that you guys talked about? Is it something that you, you sort of point of emphasis coming into this season? Absolutely. Last year, a big knock that we had all season, especially in the bubble, was rebounding. You know, getting out rebounded, um, not playing with enough force. And coming into this season, that's something credit to a lot of our bigs um, of just continuing to give us those extra possessions, continuing to finish out those possessions for us and not have those games where, you know, we're trying to outshoot teams when we're losing by 20 on the glass. One more Sean Cunningham. 
Uh, I was just curious, if, do you expect many differences from the way they played to get them in a unique situation in this back-to-back? -back? Sean, Sean, I gotta ask, what's up with this shirt, man? <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> That's, that, that goes for, I've been a Duke fan for a while, man. I mean, dude, it's a, it's a Kings game tonight, man. I mean, come you on. Know. <clears throat> Sorry, I was throwing me off. But uh, <laughs> no, I, I think that, you know, tomorrow they're going to make adjustments and they're going to watch the tape. They're going to do some things different. And like I said earlier, it's going to come down to Will. We know what they do. They know what we do. Um, you know, it's a 24-hour difference. So it's just going to be a matter of who, who wants it more. All right, last one, Matt George. Harrison, it wasn't the best game for Rashawn Holmes, at least in the first three quarters, but in that fourth quarter, uh, really putting the team on his back there with some clutch rebounds and free throws there at the end. Can you speak to his performance and then um, just the, the mindset for players who are struggling still to make an impact in big time? I mean, Rashawn is just, like I said, his ability to, to give us extra possessions is huge. And, you know, when it mattered most, you know, he's on the rebounds, um, offensively and defensively. And just giving us those extra possessions, getting to the free throw line, giving us the opportunity to win this game tonight is huge. And the common mantra of our team is just everyone just staying professional. You know, we've seen it now in a couple of games, um, whether it's Hassan coming in and playing well, Tyrese in his first NBA action playing well, Glenn not playing the first game, coming in, having a big impact tonight. Everyone just staying ready because we're going to need everyone on this roster um, to have an impact at whatever point in time, whether that's five minutes, 10 minutes, 10 games, whatever it may be. Thank you.